All right, what's up guys? We're bass fishing out here at our hunting camp. Water's super low, super clear. Hope we're gonna catch a ton of fish. We're using some live minnows we got from the local co-op. I have a circle hook just with a small casting cork, which is. All right guys, I got a minnow on. I'm about to cast this out in the water. Mom's right up there. over there. Got a little orange cork. So this is a casting cork. Like I said, got a little lead weight on the bottom. So it'll go much further. Mom has one or two. So it's actually super shallow out here. So I'm going to shorten my leader. I'm just going to pull that down. So it's a little bit shorter. So there and there. See that little lead right there on the bottom? So. Right out there. And right as I threw it, I saw a really big shine move. So I think I threw it right beside a bass. So. Not super big, but the bass. All right, guys, this is a great hook set. Right there at the bottom of the mouth. Right at the bottom of the mouth. I still get to keep my mouth. That's not a bad bass. Super small, but it's probably half pounder. So he swam, he swam off, so pretty good fish. It's not the biggest, but it'll do. So I'm gonna get us back in the water. So mama's right out there. Looks like the hook is hard. So mama just missed one. We've already, it's, we normally throw it out there, and it's five seconds. You got a fish. In the past. So normally, this time of year, the water is not this low. It's low, but it's not completely dried up. Like, this pond is completely dried. Like, this is almost just a little lagoon right here that the bass hang out in. We're probably going to move a little bit down the pond over here. See if we can catch some over there. So, I'm going to throw this out here one more time and then I'm going to move down pond some. Come on, let's hook one. Oh, I just saw a bass right, right by it. And they just, right as I pulled it, and they just swam right past it. So, this pond is still so, so shallow. It, my minnow was just sitting on the ground, so they couldn't really tell that there was a minnow. So right on the edge of the bank right by that big giant stump okay just went under a little move closer a little so i actually have a dead minnow so whenever i'm pulling it i'm making it look like it's still alive some because if you got a dead minnow it's not gonna do the best but you want to keep your min. You want to try to keep your minnow even if it is dead, because it will catch fish. 
they just might not be super hungry right now. Oh, Mama's got one. It's not a bad fish, Mom. <laughs> All right, need some help. So I'm gonna throw back out here. Oh, I see, I think I see one. I just threw my minnow off. It's not a bad fish at all. It's not bad. So I'm gonna show you all how to hook a minnow. After I untangle this real quick. Flip this on. All right, you got your minnow head. I like to go under the lip and then just go straight through just like that so i'm gonna get us back in the water and if i can get over there later i'm probably gonna try to get over towards that stump and see if i can see the bass because i can kind of see them from over here i have a fish or is that just the middle you can kind of see them from over here, but it's kind of hard. So, about to move down the pond trying to fish. Oh, there's a bass. Oh, got one. I saw it take a minnow because I was, I saw the minnow get eaten because I could see it move. This one's not as small as the other one, but it's still pretty good fish. Yeah, that circle hook, that'll do the job. Look at that, it's got a red lip. It's not a bad fish. It's kind of small, but they're fun to catch. So, I'm going to hook on a minnow. Alright, let's throw this thing back. But that was cool because whenever your minnow's alive, they'll swim away. Or, or at least try to. They can't swim too far, but they'll try to swim away like that thing it just went to the top of the water yep that's just hit it oh so run it up close and i can see my minnow in the water moving so i'm gonna throw it back out there i think it might be dead yeah bass hit it so looks dead but See if I can catch another one. Oh. Oh, yep, got one. Oh, geez, that thing just came straight to me. Oh. This thing might be a three pounder. Oh. Oh. This is a huge fish. I mean, thing's giant. This is a good fish. So it's got a big mouth. I could almost put my hand in his mouth. So let's get him back.
so I found a horrible stick. It's real thin, but I'm gonna try to. Took him by the head, and he swam off. Swam off real fast and good. So took one more minnow. Got a pretty good one. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not a bad fish at all. So let's throw this back in the water and try to snag some more. So, whoa. As soon as it hit, it sunk. I can't I got a pretty big minnow, so this cork is sinking. Looks the minnow's taking it under, not the bass. Oh, ah! It was in the bass's mouth, but... So, Mama got a pretty good one. It's not bad. Hmm. I can't get this hook out. Alright. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. cork it has a little weight on the bottom and then the cork so you can throw it farther let's hope we can catch some like and subscribe so pretty good fish it's pretty good fish but choked him really good There we go. We got the hook out. So I gotta get this oh. one. Sorry. Alright. He, he swam off. So, I think. Get it. So, I think the minnow's still alive. So, let's throw this back out there. Way out there. And. Oh, I got him. I got one swimming towards it, so. Come on. Super cool. The water's so clear. We can see the bass swimming toward the minnow. Which is really, really cool. Oh, there's a little minnow. 